Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Serie A jersey review. As you know Serie A is my favorite league and so the jersey review for Serie A is always my favorite one. I kept it for last of the big leagues that I'm reviewing that I've been doing reviews so far. Uh, not only keep best for last but also I know that Serie A more than any other league is likely to release jerseys uh, during the season later on I'm sure that during the editing process that one of the big teams is for sure going to issue another special jersey. So yeah, wearing a jersey that Milan uh, became champions in, so very happy about that. But before we go a little bit further into the review, I also would like to know from you, where should I take the jersey reviews next? I really would like to do one. Should I go to, you know, look at uh, the group stages of the three European competitions? Uh, and get a little bit more eclectic with uh, internationality and so on? Or should I do for the first time an Eredivisie or Liga Portugal jersey review um, where I don't have as many jerseys as I have for like Serie A or others? But it could also be interesting to do so. So please let, let me know in the comments below. In any case, all the jerseys that I'm going to show you in here, I will rate on a scale from 1 to 10, with 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. It's a very personal rating. This is how I feel this jersey, and I try to do it as live as possible. Um, I also take all the pictures from Football Kit Archive, which is a, a web page. If you're interested in jerseys, that I can highly re recommend because you can see, look through the histories of most teams and also go league by league and see what is on offer there. Now, the way I decide on which team goes in which video, we have here 20 teams, which I split into four. So we have five teams in each video. I'll take last season standings, go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And then the team is assigned to the video. And so, Inter, we have Fiorentina, we have Torino, we have Sampdoria and we have Lecce in here. And because I sorted alphabetically by the way I call the team, we have that Fiorentina are the first team in this video. And Fiorentina have a brand new logo, a logo that I have discussed uh, with a fellow collector on this channel, uh, Chris from uh, the Footballero. Yeah, there is historic precedent for the logo, but you know, it, it takes some getting used to. However, the way they put it on the home jersey, I have to say, is quite smart. I mean, I'm the best thing I can say about Fio Fiorentina these days is that the sponsor media comment, they have always nice sponsors, like the Folletto sponsors of there, but the media comment sponsor also fits very, very, very nice, nicely on there. And then putting the logo, and making it the center of the design by radiating out a little bit darker purple is actually a pretty nice move, resulting in a darn good jersey, I would like to say. It is not your typical Fiorentina jersey, but it's a really, really nice Fiorentina jersey. I think we have, again, a solid start to a video with uh, eight stars right here. I actually do like the white uh, jersey even better because it, again, takes cues from the crest, uh, sponsor and all the applications go again in purple. And then we have the big V on there, which is goes for Viola, which is also part of the crest. Now, um, this might be a little bit too much, but I would have loved to put the Mediacom where the crest is and then have a mega crest above that one to kind of center it a little bit or, or in a large crest in the center that could have elevated it. But uh, it is one of the standouts because how often do you see such a big V on a shirt, especially so low? This is not something we see uh, very, uh, very, very, very often. I really enjoy this one. Very strong look. One of my favorite jer uh, jerseys that I have kind of bookmarked. Yeah, last season I got the Fiorentina third jersey. This one, this one I actually would like uh, to have. Um, I know that many people like the third jersey a lot. And again, the crest takes center stage. It's put all over and kind of a tiled uh, uh, makeup, but in different sizes, which is cool. Um, and also the kind of this uh, steely blue with gold is a nice combination. But to me, it doesn't necessarily scream Fiorentina. Fear, fear, you know, this in purple, I actually think I would have gotten fully on board uh, uh, with 
I know they have had a blue jerseys as of late, but I just there is something that I, I I just cannot get quite on board with it. But it's still a really nice jersey. I I will always agree with you. It's a it's a nice one, and I'm gonna give it also an eight star like the home jersey, with a slight preference for the home jer jersey. And then the third jersey uh, does something that's really cool with the crest kind of popping, full color, color crest on on the black, even the sponsor. But then um, it I, this purple thing is around the crest, and this was um, the winner of a design contest, which uh, was actually cool that Fiorentina Fiora, Fiora, did it. Um, but it's a little bit too random. I would have actually wanted that there's a little bit more happening there. Uh, that design car kind of seems uh, fallen a little bit flat. And so the black jersey is almost the, the worst looking one, which I it's really, really hard because I really like how the, the new crest pops in there, which of course is the biggest thing that they wanted to have. But this is only a seven star jersey, but I have to say overall Fiorentina looking really, 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 really strong this season if they just would back it up on the pitch. Going over to Inter, we already talked about their new crest as well. You know, Juan, Juan is getting used to it, but I don't think it's as successful as the one that Juventus pulled out. Uh, to me, the most exciting news when the first leaks were that, you know, they're going back to their tra tra traditional stripes, which we hadn't seen so far. And I know I said for Atalanta, where I like the blue center stripe that this distinguishes them from Inter. Well, they have this here too. So yeah, there goes the this, this, uh, <laughs> to distinguish themselves. It is very similar to the Inter shirt that I'm hanging here with the kind of the thicker stripes. And so I actually don't mind that. The problem is the template that they use from Nike, which is this weird one with the trapezoid up front, uh, which from a distance doesn't look so bad. But uh, if you look up close, yeah, it, it looks a little bit weird. And then honestly, the black stripe here, mm, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not quite on board with the overlook, although I have to say it looks quite inter. The biggest thing that annoys me is that, um, you know, the shoulders have the black here, they have the black on, on, on the back, but the trapezoid on the back is blue, where you really, really see it and it really, really, really looks weird. Uh, that's maybe the, the worst thing I can say about this jersey. Um, I would have liked that they handle the stripes a little bit differently here, to be uh, perfectly honest, and therefore I only can give a rather traditional inter jersey only eight stars. The away jersey, believe it or not, was on the list of at least classic football shirts, the jerseys of the year. Um, I don't quite get it. Uh, I do get why they put a world map on there. That will always fly with me uh, as a geo nerd. But on the other side, I don't understand the colors. If you would have done that with a little bit more blue, I would have liked it. The other thing, and uh, it was not shown on the picture of the home home jersey, the way that they put the cocarda for winning the cup just above the swoosh. I mean, you won the freaking cup. Napoli, when they did it, put it right in the center where it should belong. Why don't you put this in the center? I really do not get that. What I do like, though, is that the crest, although it's too big, for that is kind of centered on the city of Milan, which makes sense, but then it goes all the way over. Why is that it's designed? Because you know, in the founding days, brothers of the world look at the founding, his 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 Ravina brother, brother of the world unite, blah blah blah. So we have here the brothers of the world. Honestly, um, yeah, it doesn't quite do it for me. I really think if this was a light blue. I actually really would have gone, gone, gone above it. The only thing that kind of a little bit saves it is that the cocarda has a green in there, but that's very, 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 very minor. I actually think instead of the turquoise, a blue, and I think we're talking about one of the best jerseys uh, this season for me personally. Also, the way that the shoulders uh, don't, you know, the shoulders don't quite connect. And then uh, if you see Africa and South America, there is, you know, when it goes, goes, goes to America, suddenly it gets a little bit more turquoise. It's, it's a bit too messy. Sorry to say, for me, it's a chance miss six stars. Yes, I'm that brutal. I do, however, like the third jersey, as simple as, as, as it is, but I always think a yellow jersey, all other jersey, always works well, although in Italy I prefer my white ones, but yellow is something that I'm getting bored with. And then you have the club's colors, although the blue is a tad too light, 
going around looks quite nice and convincing. Is it outstanding? No. Is the Cocarda again misplaced, although it's not shown here? Yes, it is. But other than that, I think there's nothing that I can, can, can complain here. I'm going to give this a straight seven um, it, because it's not too exciting. That one in white would be a really nice inter -jer uh, away jersey. Um, maybe I would I prefer a sash a little bit more. And let's go to something a little bit more exciting with an in-house uh, production by Lecce. Yep, I think when I look at the colors that I have in the background, there is a bright red is kind of missing, mi missing and uh, at the moment it's, it says Lecce in a way. That would be a jersey that would uh, definitely pop in this background. Um, it is a classic in-house jersey. Let's put it that way. Uh, it's also from a smaller team. There's a lot of sponsors on there that don't always fit. Uh, there is something about the brush stroke effect that I don't mind here, but you can definitely tell it is not a jersey made by a proper brand, uh, but rather an in-house production. Uh, so yeah, so and so. Um, I do like the broad strokes on there, although I always feel Lecce should, should have some a uh, little bit thinner stripes. Uh, it is definitely the sponsors that pull this jersey down and a little bit too much for me. So I'm gonna start out with a five star um, on this one right here. And then if we go to the away jersey, uh, I actually think this is rather interesting because I have, ha I have, have seen with Lecce that you just go from white and blue and then just a little bit of club colors in there. It links very nicely up with the sponsor, pun intended, right here. Um, the sponsors actually don't look as bad as on the home jersey because it looks all a little bit more cohesive. It's actually quite a pleasing jersey, although I was, was a little, little bit surprised to see it. But overall, honestly, to me, this is a seven star jer uh, jersey. I really like the way that this uh, looks like. Um, the third jersey does something, you know, putting the city uh, on down uh, in, in, in a way and then going all red with a yellow. I think it's really nice to put kind of the club's colors again in a different conf conf configuration on, on the map. Um, again, also with, uh, uh, rep representing the city, which is, is a, when you put a city skyline on a jersey, I always will like that. Um, but then there's something also missing, uh, but you know, I can totally see it. I like the kind of the, it's just in the two colors. It has a little bit of a Roma feel to it, which probably Lecce fans wouldn't like to hear. I would have loved if the Lecce crest was full color here to kind of distinguish itself. But overall, I think it's also a nice effort. So I'm going to give this also a seven that I, that I gave for the away jersey. And we are at the team. Oh, I'm afraid this will be uh, the last time for two years that we see some Doria in here because they are at the moment are really, really re re relegation threatened. It is a shame because nicest jersey in Italy. And I have to say, I mean, the home jersey, if you get it like this, this is so classic Sampdoria. And yes, it actually the crest should be worn on the sleeves. Yes, it should be. But it's such a classic, nice design. And yes, they have a sponsor, but the sponsor in white goes above and doesn't look all that bad either. This is a really, really strong shirt. You cannot go wrong with a classic Sampdoria shirt. And this time Macron does not do what they have done previously with all kinds of patches. This is perfect. This is perfect. Even with the sponsor, I would say it, 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 is, it is perfect. I'm dishing out my first 10 stars here. And it did not make the countdown because another Sampdoria shirt uh, was in the top 10 jer jerseys. It was not the away jersey though. I like a little bit wacky like this one here, where we have the classic Sampdoria straps here. Here, um, I have, have, to have to say, just having the logo on the belly without the stripes, it looks a little bit naked. I do like everything around. You know, the collar logo looks cool, the sleeve cuffs look cool, that's all fine. But it looks a little bit naked. Again, it ha we have it with a, a sponsor, which makes it look actually a little bit better, to be honest. And the sponsor, while logo and wordmark is something I usually um, don't like that much. In this case, I actually don't mind it, uh, especially since it's uh, with, with, with the same 
uh, color. We also see, especially on, on this picture with the sponsor, that actually the logo, kind of the flag of Genoa, there is a shadow pattern that kind of should give, uh, should re represent the usual band that we have there. Just looks a little bit too bare for me, and I know what they're trying, trying, trying to do, but um, leaves me a bit wanting. I'm gonna give six stars to a Sampdoria uh, Georgia jersey, which is something that you really have to hear. Uh, is really, really tough. I have to say that this third jersey here, there is something about it, and again, it has a sponsor. It has actually even two sponsors, <laughs> probably all, all of the jerseys. But there's something about this jersey I really like. It has an alternate crest. That is among the standouts here. And note that it doesn't use the royal blue, but a kind of a navy blue to be reflected. But it is a really, really strong and really, really different look. It featured very, very high on my top jerseys this season. This is, with or without sponsor, is a 10 star because it's something we haven't seen that often from Psalm Sampdoria. It's something different, but it's something that pops for, for, for sure. This is a standout on and off the pitch. One of the best jerseys out there, and Sampdoria always has nice jerseys. Uh, it's because it is just such an iconic design overall. And we end our video with a team with a Homer team, Torino. Um, again, I, I almost could copy and paste my reviews, especially like from this jersey or the previous one. This time, the color it, it, it's just a Granata jersey. There is no white accents except for the sponsor, and there's a huge bull plastered all over, which actually is quite cool, I have to say. Uh, but it's just the outline, and then you know it's a little a little bit dark, darker there. Again, the beretta of center, it just looks odd. It just looks odd, and then a home on top. That that's me the one thing. If you put the homo logo in the center, I think this could salvage it, but then the Suzuki loses its touch, or then you have to pull down the Suzuki. Then the bull is too big. So yeah, uh give and take. It's not a bad jersey, but again, I feel it is a little bit more on the boring side. So I will just give it a six star. However, I think that this away jersey hits all the feels for me. This is a really, really nice one too. Again, the bull outline, nice, but what I really like is that the bull is on the crest just by itself. And last season, I think they had a sash, which also looks nice. But what I like here is the simplicity with the bull and then that the color is in the Granata and also all the sleeve cuffs. I do like when teams do it like that. White and then just a little bit of the team colors on the trims. Uh, it's a really, really nice, nice one maybe too many sponsors a tad too many sponsors i will agree 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 with that but it's easily a nine star jersey for me i do not get the third jersey it is very much a home jersey with a normal uh color and then the neon effect and you know the granata fading into black or even a darker that seems to me a superfluous jersey if there ever was one i gotta be honest with you so yeah uh, that to me is the head scratcher. Is it a bad jersey? No, but it doesn't do it for me. I, uh, the colors are a little bit too luminous in, in a way. Five stars for that one. And we're done with the second part of the Serie A jersey review. Again, let me know which jersey did you like and dislike in here, where you agree or disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!